Hello, in this video I will show you how to open a data file in IBM SPSS. To do this, I'm going to use some data files that I have saved on my computer. I have, for instance, here a folder called Data 2020-21. These data sets are from a research project that I work on. So my data files are included in this folder. Uh, of course, I have several data files here. A very easy way to open a data file using SPSS is to simply click on your file. And you can do that, and this will automatically open the IBM SPSS software. Um, however, this may not always work because the computer doesn't always uh, recognize the type of software that is needed to open an SPSS data file. SPSS data file have the extension .sav, so this may not always work with your computer. So I am going to close this and show you a different way to do it. So let's uh, exit SPSS for now. So another way to do this is to open the SPSS software. So if you have it installed on your computer, you can just simply click on the IBM SPSS icon. This again will open the IBM SPSS statistics software. You will notice that you have a welcome window. Um, here, this is a quick way to access different data files. For instance, if you go to the Restore Points uh, tab, you can see a lot of data files that you work with and maybe you haven't saved uh, all the changes. They're available here. You can use some of the recent files, your recent files here, or you can use some sample data files that the software comes with if you want to practice your skills in running data analysis procedures. But you can feel free to ignore this window as well. And if you don't want to see it again, you can just simply check this button. Don't show this dialog in the future and you will not see this window if it is too confusing or disorienting. I am just going to close this window for now. And I'm going to demonstrate how to open a data file. So I'm going to the File menu in the upper left corner. Click on Open, just like you would with uh, all different types of software. And then on the right side, you can choose whether you want to select data or different types of files. For instance, output files are the files where the results are saved. So if you ran analysis in the past and your results were saved in an output file, you can use this option. Um, but for now, let's just choose data. And I'm going to select the folder where my data files are saved in. So in this case, the uh, folder is already selected and I'm going to select the data file that I want to use. Again, notice that data files have the extension .sav, uh, but other data files, especially data files that come from other software like Excel, for instance, may have different types of uh, extensions. If that's the case, if you want to import the data file, that has a different format, you can click on this drop down arrow and select the files with the extension that you want. It can be um, XLS for Excel files, so CSV for CSV files, different types of text files, files coming from the SAS software, or to make it easier, just uh, select all files or all types of files. And you can then select the file that you want. In my case, I want the file named All Cohorts, and then click Open. Notice that now I have a data file open. This data file has several different variables. Uh, notice that this window has several tabs. It has an overview tab when I get where I get. Um, dashboard with a summary of the data, then um, the actual data that can be viewed here in the second tab, 
And then in the third tab, I have a list of all the variables, right? I have the variable cohort, for instance, and then all the other variables are numbered from 1 through 8. So um, this is my data file. If I want to save it or save it as, I go to File and then Save As. If I want to save this as a different file before I make any changes. So in this video, I demonstrated how to open a data file in SPSS. I hope it, is, it was helpful.